Hey guys, so with everything going on right now and most likely you all are staying at home, I hope, and we can't get our coffee from Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts, I figured I would show you how to do a iced latte from home. So this is how it turned out. If you have a the same coffee maker as I do, which is the Ninja, and it has like the little frother arm that comes out, you could froth it because you can froth and keep it cold but I did want to just do it at home by just shaking it up. I probably could have shook it up longer and got it more frothy, but you realistically don't have to have that frothiness. I do like the gradients. I just did like a small little cup and I use some caramel from, I use the caramel, softer caramel mocha from Skinny Syrups, Jordan Skinny Syrups. You can get these on Amazon, that way you can stay at home and order it. But this is what it looks like. I'm gonna take a sip on camera. It actually turned out really good. So I do recommend making your coffee stronger than usual just because you are going to be filling up halfway with milk. But also it just depends on how you like your coffee. I did use a caramel Starbucks coffee, but uh, yeah. So this is how it turned out. I'm going to jump right into the tutorial. Alright guys, jumping right in. I'm going to just use this pitcher. I usually use the froth milk when I make cappuccinos. And I'm going to change it to the small setting because I'm only going to make a small cup here. So it kind of just depends. I do choose the over ice setting. That part doesn't matter because obviously it's going to be hot either way. But you're just going to brew your coffee, make it as strong as you like. And then you're going to add some ice cubes just to let it cool down while we deal with the milk in a moment. So I filled up half my mason jar with milk and then I've used around a half a tablespoon of sugar. Um, sometimes I don't even use sugar, I'll just add a little bit of uh, sweet cream creamer that I like which adds a lot of sweetness to it. I'm going to add a little bit of salted caramel. Last time I made a coffee drink I added way too much caramel so I didn't want to do that this time. Honestly I could have did a little bit more. And then I'm just going to add in some some ice cubes and we are going to put on the top of the mason jar and shake it up. I, you can use the frother that comes with this particular coffee maker because it doesn't heat your coffee. coffee. It just kind of froths it up and keeps it whatever temperature. But just in case you didn't have it, I figured I would show you. You can shake it up to kind of froth it. Um, you definitely have to shake it up more than I did. But I usually don't need it frothy anyway. I just enjoy having uh, iced coffee at home. And I really enjoy the color gradients of this. So obviously if you made it stronger, it would be a lot darker. But that's pretty much it. You can just add in a straw and drink it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to see how I make my cappuccinos from home. All right, thanks guys.